fact, I want to go to the Democratic Congressman Lloyd Doggett, a member of the Ways and Means Committee, uh, which, of course, as I mentioned, has been trying to get Trump's tax return since 2019. So, Congressman, here you are. The day has come. Victory from a Supreme Court with Trump's judges on it coming, saying, you know what, hand those tax returns over to your committee. Let's start with the most basic question. When do you expect to get the documents? I'm hoping we will get them by next week. Uh, this is an important victory for accountability, and it's true the the efforts have gone on for three years on the lawsuit. I actually made the first motion to get these tax returns on February 3rd, 2017. So we're coming up on almost five years that we've wow. been trying to get this. And, uh, you know, Republicans in the House aided and abetted him in every way. The statute's explicit. It says, shall turn these over to the Ways and Means Committee. He never had the law on his side, but he had plenty of Republicans who would block and obstruct and refuse to take action. And then a Trump-appointed judge sat on the lawsuit for two and a half years. And so now we are right up against the final deadline. We know the same House Republicans that blocked access to his returns when we could have gotten them a long, long time ago have already begun putting out statements uh, that make it clear if we don't get action before the January 3rd deadline, we will never be able to hold uh, him to any level of accountability and fulfill our legislative responsibilities to see whether the IRS is conducting its audit duties appropriately. So let's be clear here, right? On January 3rd, they get control of your committee in the House and they end it. That, that's clear. So. You've got just about six weeks. You're you're saying now you don't expect to get them till after Thanksgiving, right? Then you've got members on holiday and, and the holidays, the Christmas, New Year's. Do are you gonna be able to do what you need to do here, Congressman? Or is this sort of a Pyrrhic victory where you win but you can't actually execute? Time is of the essence. Uh, I think we need to be ready to work holidays, weekends, whatever it takes to get this job done. There is a lot at stake here and we cannot default at the last minute. Uh, I know we will be acting on advice of counsel, the same counsel that won this decision today and has won. In fact, no judge has ever ruled for Trump's side on this issue. So it's clear, the law is clear, our responsibility is clear, mm. and Republican obstruction and willingness to continue to obstruct is clear, so we need to move quickly, and I hope we begin that review next week. Uh, just to be clear about it, uh, this does not mean that the records immediately become public. Uh, they're subject to privacy protection. Uh, in fact, it's a felony to leak or disclose these returns until our committee acts. And our so if your committee is the... unable to do what you need to do, and I know it's, I'm saying do what you need to do because that's obviously an amorphous yeah. term, but you've got to figure that out when you look at them. But if you aren't able to get everything done by January 3rd, right, and each one of his returns is going to be this, this thick, um, I'm, I'm holding my, my hands up the size of the TV. So then, and the public isn't going to get to see them because of secrecy. The GOP takes over. What happens? No one ever sees them? Well, Nothing there, happens? They're gone? There, there certainly is the alternative of making these documents public, and the time pressure here okay. uh, creates an added reason to consider doing that. Uh, I'm not ready without having reviewed any of it uh, to say that we need to act immediately on making them public. But there is a way that uh, we can afford those tax returns to the House and the House can act uh, on this and uh, it would have the effect of making it public and then they could be reviewed with more care. Uh, right. That's something that yeah. the Republicans have got to consider if they continue to obstruct here. All right. Well, it is crucial to know that you would have that option. And again, uh, even though that may be against his wishes, it would be consistent with the past 45 years of precedent with presidential candidates releasing those returns. All right, Congressman, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. I want to go straight to Ryan Goodman now, Just Security Co-Editor-in-Chief and former Special Counsel at the Defense Department. Okay, so let's just start there where Congressman Doggett finished. So, um, Time is of the essence. He made that clear. Nights, weekends, they're going to work them. If they can't get it done, they have this option. Um, do you think they'll be able to do, and I keep saying everything they need to do because we <laughs> don't know what that is, but I mean literally to read through each each of these is this thick, uh, you know, or more, uh, before the GOP takes over? I don't think they'll be able to do everything that they wanted to do. Um, so the big right. question is your question as to whether or not they will release any of it publicly. And that is the question that was kind of burning behind the scenes of the different judges that uh, entertained this question. So the district court judge at the very end of his opinion says, 
is maybe not right or wise, but it is the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee's right to decide what to do in terms of releasing it publicly, and the Court of Appeals says something very similar. And it's going to be a crucial decision. Okay, now the appeals court ruling in Mar-a-Lago, as Evan was going through that, you listened in on the entire hearing today, uh, which you were able to do. We're not allowed to play sound bites from it. That's not allowed, but we are, we are able to quote from it. So in one exchange, a judge appointed by Trump cut Trump's lawyer off when the lawyer called the August search at Mar-a-Lago a raid. Right? The judge cuts him off and says, do you think a raid is the right term for the execution of a warrant? To which Trump's lawyer, uh, Jim Trusty, respected lawyer, apologizes for using the, quote, loaded term. All right? And it's clear when everyone was laying out where this panel of judges appears to be. If the court decides in favor of the DOJ, says enough of the special master review, what happens to the Mar-a-Lago case timeline? So it would... I think this might happen within the next few days. Uh, they would basically overturn uh, Judge Cannon, and she would be no longer, uh, essentially, in control of the Mar-a-Lago documents. They would basically be saying, you should never have exercised jurisdiction in the first place, Judge Cannon. You didn't have it. It was so bizarrely unusual. It's never been done before. Uh, so they take it away from her. In fact, with the Assistant Solicitor General, the Chief Judge was actually just discussing, in part, like, should we say it's totally vacated? Or should we, we've totally reversed her. So they're just really playing with those particular words, but that seems to be what's about to happen. And then all of it will go to the Justice, Depar to the Justice Department. And they can then go in there, and you've got the, obviously, the special counsel involved, and, 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 and things can go very quickly if, if they so choose. Yeah. All right, Ryan, thanks very much.